In this lesson, you will practice writing the standard, expanded, and word form of a number using base 10 blocks. Before we solve any problems, let's review the base 10 blocks and what they mean. Base 10 blocks are used to show a number visually. Let's review the different types of base 10 blocks. When you see a single cube, this is a ones cube, and the value of this cube represents one one. When you take 10 ones and stack them together, you make a 10 rod, and this is a 10 rod, and a 10 rod has the value of 1, 10. Now when you take a grid that has 10 rows and 10 columns, there are 100 ones within here. So this is called a hundreds flat, and it represents 100. Let's use this information to solve a problem. Identify the number shown. So here's the number, and we have a set of base 10 blocks. The first thing I notice is that there is one hundreds flat. So that means this number has 100. I'll put the digit 1 in the hundreds column here. The next thing I notice is that this number has one, two. This is two tens rods, or the number has two tens. And lastly, I'm going to count the ones. There are one, two, three ones, which means you put the digit three in the ones column here. When you take this all together, you get the number 123. This is the standard form of a number, and I'm going to write that right here, standard form. Standard uses only digits, and this is the form you're probably most used to seeing. Let me erase some of this work, and we will find the expanded and word form of the number. Okay, we have a little bit more space now. So we're working with the number 123. If we want to write this in expanded form now, you need to know that expanded form makes use of the value of each digit. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at the number 123. Here, you have 100. You have two tens, so you're going to add that and you have three ones, so add that too. So now you have an expanded form that says 100 plus two tens plus three ones. You can also write the expanded form by using the associated value with each place value. So you know the hundreds place is associated with a number 100, the tens is 10, and the ones is one. So if you have 100, you have the number 100. Add this to two tens. 2 tens is 20, and 3 ones is simply 3. So the other way of writing the expanded form is 100 plus 20 plus 3. Now let's write the word form of, of the expanded form that you have here. So if you have 100, the word form is like this, 100. If you have 20, the word form for 20 looks like this. And lastly, you have three ones, so you write three. The word form is 123. Now notice, even though in the expanded form up here, you have ones with an S or tens with an S, you don't use the plural version when you write the number here. You don't say twenties or threes. You use the singular version of the word every time you go to write the number in word form. Let's solve another problem together. The second problem asks you to use base 10 blocks to write the number 200s, 110, and 11. And if you notice, because you have an addition sentence here, this is the expanded form of the number, and we want to use base 10 blocks to model this number. Before we get to the base 10 blocks, let's put the digits in a place value table to know what we're working with. If you have 200s, that means the digit in the hundreds place is 2. 110 means you put a 1 in the tens place. And 1, 1 means you have a 1 in the ones column. This number is 211. Now let's see how we would write this with base 10 blocks. Here is the model for 211. Notice that the model has two hundreds, which is exactly what you had in the expanded form, and it's what you have in the place value table. It has 110, 
which corresponds to the 110 here and also the 110 in the expanded form. And lastly, there is 1, 1, which is what you expect to find. In this lesson, you've used base 10 blocks to write the standard, expanded, and word form of a number. Happy solving!